Hello folks, this has gone spy, the spy, and we're coming back, um, just, um, making, uh, this, um, video announcement, um, the increase of subscribers has been pretty damn well good, I had to say, um, um, hoping right now, um, I am going to be able to keep up the efforts, it's, really not easy to be able to find people no, to get them to look up to the channel and to see if they're whether or not they'll be interested and supporting it or not and it takes a little long time to a long while to be able for me to find people such as that and um yeah um those of you that have um watched through the mission of the the scroll mission, thank you for watching the scroll mission. That was the end of the act four of the Ultimate Alliance. Alrighty, so um So um afterwards um this I'm now going to be uh, focusing on my sole intention on the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX campaign, which is the, the last act. So I um, hope you guys ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX climax because it's going to be happening um, tonight and I'm going to be putting my effort and focus on that. I've been um, working real hard and... and Night to figure a way how to uh, best be able to approach uh, that act because because it has some some intense uh, battle final battle villains uh, at the final episodes of the GX of the season um three and four um and um. I will be making my appearance in some of these duels, but in one of these duels, um, spoiler alert, I may lose in one of these duels. I know that you guys have been, um, have been wondering if I want to be capable of to lose a duel, but, um, not to worry, um, You'll be um, seeing a situation where I won't be, even I won't be able to get myself out of, but that's going to happen only on one of these duels that's going to be shown up in the Anibal near of the GX campaign. And afterwards, um, if we get further more to the point to the end of the GX campaign, it's going to be a special secret of uh, I'm going to unveil on the final episode of the GX campaign. It's going to be something that you guys won't be able to expect and something that you guys would actually take appreciation about. So, um, and furthermore to the case, um, if you, um, if the new people, if you new guys have have checked out the channel, um, be sure to like, add, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification button. That's the bell next next to the subscribe button, and notifications will be able to allow you to uh, pick up on on the thing so that that's already been uploaded something new so right now I am still trying to get as many subscribers as possible and hopefully those that do would would support the channel and while it's going on pretty good so far I would like to keep up the effort as possible and not lose momentum uh, right now. So, and then um, after the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX campaign series, I uh, will be focusing back to my attention the Command & Conquer 3 Tiberian Wars, which is going to be the Nod campaign, guys. 
Now, I've already used the name of Hescon Spy and the GI campaign and the timelines between the campaigns and the, the Command Conquer Three Tiberian Moors is a little bit in between and kind of after the mission, kind of after before the missions take place of the GI campaign and practically uh, seen some missions that's going to be before the GI missions were taking place. So uh, it's practically what the NAW campaign is going to show you about how they were able to accomplish conqueror of territorials. And I'm going to be thinking of another name to be used in the NAW campaign because like I said, I've already used the Hescon Spy and the GDI campaign. If I use the Hescon Spy and, and the NAW campaign as the NAW commander, it's going to practically make me look like a hypocrite. I'm, I'm nothing like that of the sort. So... Uh, it's going to be a name that's closest to um something that you remember close to home. It's going to be a name that Nod would actually take pride about. And I have been given a, a lot of thought about that, so... So, um... I'll be talking about that a bit more once I finish the Ego GX campaign, but just to let you guys know that it, once I finish the Ego GX campaign, my uh, next sole attention will be on the Command Conquer 3 Tiberium Moors. And... It's gonna be guy. It's gonna be something that you not fans are not gonna to want to miss if you guys are anxious for that campaign. It's gonna be something of a little bit of the the rebellious thing and a little bit of blind power side, but um, um but I'm sure that you not fans would love to see some of those stuff. And, um, yeah, I happen to be able to make my, um, and this video announcement because of things that's been going on with what I got currently going on. But right now, right now, I have uh, got things under control in my, um, current life right now is because I've recently got a job. Yeah, I recently got a job, so yeah, congratulations for me. <laughs> so, uh, but the payment's going to be a little bit low, but it's going to be good. It's going to be on the payment of earning above 100 so far. Depends on the students um, getting into classes more. And that's practically what I'm hoping to see um, some more students to um, take in into classes of karate. Yeah, you heard it right. Um, yeah, um, the, the, the second kid game's deck has been, it's going to be improved of its cards, of its deck, with new cards ever since he defeated Sartorius and the Light Society along with his friends that helped him. So he has some new cards that we that I have and procure up. And you're going to be seeing those new cards of what Jane has in his new pocket sleeves and the next coming episode today and how long ago will the episode will continue um how long will the episode get started um it's going to be somewhere tonight and i'm hoping to get three uploads of videos done as soon as i can as um professionally and excitable as I can make it out.
it's pretty promising, and I'm I'm really am glad that you guys um have taken uh, views of the uh, the GX episodes duels. It really makes me feel like I did the right decision about adding the Yu-Gi-Oh GX into this chapter. So. Okay, so the next thing um, you guys are going to need to be letable about is because is that after I've done the um, not a campaign of the Command Conquerors Three Tiberium Wars, I will f I, I will get back to the Ultimate Alliance. Okay, because the next because the next act will be the final act of the Ultimate Alliance. It's going to be something you guys definitely don't want to miss. It's going to be something you guys need to review of all the things that I that you have that has brought up to this point. So you guys that is that is Marvel's fans that has taken up the videos of the Ultimate Alliance I got in this chapter in this channel. I want you guys to review of the missions of the past episodes of the playlist of the Ultimate Alliance so that you guys can understand about how I end up in this predicament in this act because some because half of you new guys had not to be able to see the past old episodes so I want you guys to try to take up your free time to review of the the missions of how I'm going to be able to end because all the things that that I've done in the Ultimate Alliance up to this point is going to be put all to the test in this final act after the Nog campaign, after the Command and Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. Because everything I'm going to be putting into this point in the, in the past months of particular of the upload videos of the Ultimate Alliance is going to be all put into the test. Now, here's another thing. I'm the final episode of the Ultimate Alliance is going to be probably going to be an hour long. That's right. It's probably going to be almost two hours long because. Uh, because once that I get to the the next uh, video of the Ultimate Alliance and the final act, it's going to be a one long video, okay? And because it's going to be the final episode for reals on the Ultimate Alliance, uh, it's going to be proven everything up to the point of how I did things as a uh, group of leader of the superheroes of the Marvel heroes so yes and there's also another thing that you guys are probably going to need to know you know it's about those um red characters in the background and the um characters swap along with the other blue characters well those characters were actually part of the DLC of the Marvel heroes and Marvel villains. Their names were of. I'll start with the villain slot. Those four p names were of villains that were in those slots were Magneto, Venom, and um, Doctor Doom, and maybe German. I don't know the fourth about one I'm going to look at on that. Uh, oh yeah, um, Sabretooth. Yeah, that's the guy. And then the um the hero of blue characters were um Hawkeye, Nightcrawler, Cyclops, and the Hulk. Now back in the day, the DLC was in the Ultimate Alliance slot, but because of the years has been passed and the fact that much things have changed, the DLC is just no longer there. So I can exactly um, unlock those characters even if I want to, which would have been the masterpiece into this art. I would have actually considered of adding either the heroes into the Just Springers, if. And if the DLC had been there, it would have been a great deal. 
Okay, um, I'm going to be, um, the kid. I'm going to let you guys plan it too, um, leave you to your thoughts about this, um, but think about, about what I've said, about what you should be doing while I'm trying, while I'm putting my attention to the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX campaign series, because in this act I'm going to be focusing on after the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX campaign, I am going to, it's going to be, uh, the history of the making is going to be the last time I look on the Yugo GX campaign because the need the episodes of what I'm going to be upload um until the final episode of the campaign is going to be something you guys don't want to miss and what's something that you should tell your friends, family, or even your cousins or siblings to look upon. So I'm going to leave you guys to your thoughts, and um, I'll catch up you guys on the next announcement, and even the next video I'm going to upload in, in the Yugo GX campaign, which is going to be soon. Um, so this has gone to Spy, the Spy, sign off, and wish me luck in the Yugo GX campaign series, and get my game on.